ADHD theory for you guys. Now, this theory is based off of absolutely no scientific evidence whatsoever. It really sounds really good in my head, but I'm not too sure if it sounds good outside my head, because you know the ADHD thoughts sounds really good to us, but not really good to anybody else. So let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Has anybody ever told you or have you ever heard that you have to step outside your comfort zone in order to push past your limits and grow and achieve your life ambitions and so forth? I don't think that applies to people with ADHD. See, I was having a conversation with my kids and I was basically teaching them the exact same thing because that's how I learned as a child. I heard it all the time growing up, even into adulthood. I mean, even nowadays you read self-help books and watch TED Talks and so forth and they're giving you some version of this and I'm teaching it to my kids. And I started thinking, well, when's the last time I stepped out of my comfort zone to push past my limits? And I couldn't think of any. And then I started thinking, has there ever been a time that I stepped outside my comfort zone? And I couldn't think of any either. And that's when I started realizing I live outside the comfort zone. So I don't have one to step out of. I mean, I got a mask every time I go to work. I got a mask in social situations. I got to hide my ADHD flaws and symptoms and so forth. Masking is very uncomfortable. And if this phrase or theory or life advice applies to everybody, I should be an expert right about now, right? I should be an expert employee, an expert husband, an expert father, expert at life in general. But I'm not. I'm still trying to get my life together in all of those areas of my life. So uh, yeah, I don't think it applies to us. But now I'm starting to think, well, how can I kind of teach my kids the exact same thing? Because I'm pretty sure they're not going to have a comfort zone to step out of either. And I'm trying to figure out how can I get them to have a comfort zone at least so that they can step out of it or figure out a different way to kind of push past their limits and achieve their goals, even though it's uncomfortable to do so sometimes. And that's when it hit me. I always had this vision of somebody stepping outside their comfort zone and building it brick by brick. Because whatever you're doing outside your comfort zone, the more you do it, the more it becomes comfortable. So your comfort zone expands. So technically they're building it from the outside in. And that's when it kind of hit me as well. If I don't have a comfort zone, then I need to build my comfort zone from the inside out. I need to flip the script a little bit. If I'm always uncomfortable, then I need to be comfortable in order to push past my limits. So I gotta build that comfort zone from the inside out. And in my theory, you gotta stay in your comfort zone. There is no stepping out of it because the more comfortable we are, I think the more we'll be able to push past our limits and achieve our goals and accomplish our life ambitions and grow and so forth. Now the question is how are we gonna do that? Well, I do have a little bit of a theory on how to do that and this is what I'm gonna try and implement in my life. The first is acceptance. Now I know I've said this before in future videos, not future, scratch that, rewind. I know I've said this before in past videos, but I'm taking it a step further. I gotta be comfortable with my ADHD. See, acceptance is acceptance. Oh yeah, I have ADHD, but being comfortable that you have ADHD, that's a whole different ball game. See, I gotta be comfortable with the fact that I'm a forgetful person and that I'm gonna forget that lunch date that we set up two weeks ago. I gotta be comfortable with all my other ADHD flaws. But not only do I have to be comfortable with myself, I gotta be comfortable with educating people on how my brain works sometimes. But the main thing about it is I gotta be comfortable with the fact that some people just will not accept my education of how my brain works. They won't accept it. They'll, they're gonna say things like everybody has ADHD every now and then or they're just thinking I'm coming up with an excuse of why I was late which really bugs the heck out of me because I don't see a difference with somebody saying they're late because traffic was bad or they're late because they got distracted because of their ADHD brain and they lost track of time. Both of them are reasons why you're late and neither one of them are excusing the fact that they're late. They're just reasons. And I don't see why people will accept one but not the other. But I gotta be comfortable with the fact that some people just won't accept it. The people who really care about me, they are going to accept it. And they're probably gonna try and help me out from time to time to deal with some of my ADHD symptoms. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all my strengths and I'm gonna know them like the back of my hand. I'm gonna put them in my back pocket because I really think that a lot of my weaknesses, a lot of the symptoms that really affect my life, I have a strength that will help with that weakness. It's kind of like baseball, you know? You hit a grounder to shortstop, well, left field's gonna come in and try and back up the shortstop just in case he misses the ball. Well, I want my strengths to back up my weaknesses. I wanna be able to go, ah, it's really hard for me to actually initiate the task of doing the dishes. Well, I want a strength up here that would say, okay, I'll come down and help you initiate that task. And hopefully that strength will help build up that weakness to make it, make it a little stronger if that makes sense. So yeah, let me know if that makes sense too, because that's a theory within a theory, I should say. 
Anyway, that's the next thing I'm gonna do. The last thing I'm gonna do, and I really got this when I was talking with my kids about stepping outside their comfort zone, because I realized that I'm teaching them things that I learned as a kid and into adulthood and so forth, and I realized that it doesn't work for me. I gotta stop doing things the way other people do it. To-do list, they don't work for me, and I heard it all my life. Just write it down, you'll never forget it. Yes, I will, because I'll forget that I wrote it down. And even if I remembered that I wrote it down, I'll forget where I put the piece of paper. So to-do lists don't work for me. So I gotta come up with other ways that make sense to me. And sometimes those ways are going to look silly. They're going to look weird. People are gonna talk about it. People might even <laughs> laugh about it. I just gotta be comfortable, which, goes with number one, I just gotta be comfortable with the fact that people are gonna think it's weird. But here's the point. The point is, if I have to stand on my head to get the dishes done, it doesn't matter. The dishes are done, right? My boss doesn't care how I got to work. They just care that I got to work. So who cares how I completed the task? The fact of the matter is, is I completed the task. Be comfortable with that and take the win, by the way. That's what you definitely got to do. That. Take the win. Those are the three things that I'm going to implement because I really think that people with ADHD that are successful in life learned this a long time ago. And I really think that they built their comfort zone from the inside out and they'd never leave it. That's just my theory. I don't know. I've not talked to anybody who's successful who has ADHD and, you know, run this theory by them. That's just what I think, because if we're comfortable, we could do a lot of different things. I mean, just think about it. When you're hyper focused or hyper fixated on something, you're probably in a comfortable space and you're pushing past your limits. You're learning that new skill, that new language, the way to code or whatever it is, photography, videography, whatever you're trying to learn, whatever you're hyper-focused on, you're comfortable enough to be able to push past your limits and learn all of that stuff in a very short amount of time. So yeah, in my eyes, this theory actually holds some water. So let me know what you think. How do you guys like my unscientific theory? Do you guys think it holds a little bit of water or do you think I'm just far so far-fetched? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna to add to it, add to it. Let me know in the comments what you would add to this theory because I really think that this theory is gonna blow up. No, no, I don't, I really don't. I, I'm giving myself too much credit. I don't think it's gonna blow up. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you did, hit the like button. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time.